I uh, quickly. I'm always quick, Chair. Mr. Oh, Skidmore, okay. good to see you again. Thank you. The last estimates you told me, we are talking about the cost of the SIDS compliance program. Mr Skidmore, the evidence we have or the investigation that we did led to an indication that the SIDS compliance or initial test results of the investigations were in the order of 15 to 20,000. But then depending on that, what would that would determine the work that needs to be done and cost involved. So you're, you're talking 15, 20,000, OK? Uh, it, it depends on the aircrafts and it depends on who's doing the maintenance, but that was the rough indication. OK, well, that's what you said. The evidence we have on our investigation is about 15, 20,000, but then repairs if necessary. I have a friend who has a 72 310Q Cessna, about 5,000 hours. He received three quotes to make his, his SIDS compliant. All three quotes were within $5,000 of each other. And this lowest quote was for $60,000. It's now parked up. It doesn't fly. And as you said to Armadale, I really appreciate you coming to Armadale that day. You want to see people flying. He is now parked up because three quotes, all within $5,000 of each other, the cheapest was 60000 Is it 172? Sorry? Is it 172? No, 310. A 310, all right. When you were saying last estimate was about fifteen to twenty thousand, where can he get them for fifteen to twenty thousand? It depends on the model of the aircraft, Senator. It, it, we, we were saying you wanted a, a rough sort of number in regards to the average, but we have models going from the one hundred series to the two hundred series to the three hundred to the four hundred series. So it's going to it could vary throughout those series. So I apologise if it sounds like we got it horribly wrong, but it might have been a case of a a one hundred series roughly was around three to five thousand or ten thousand. And, and anywhere up to the 60,000. Well, that's where he's at, 60,000, hence it's parked in the shed. I mean, the value of these planes just deteriorates something terribly, terrible. You received a letter from a Mr. Charles Cabell from Walker. Last year, I quote, because last year I was at Lake Hood in Alaska, where there are about 600 plus float planes. And walking around the lake, I asked quite a few Cessna owners about SIDS. Not one of them had ever heard of it. The FAA operates under a different regulatory system to ours, Senator. The Cessna SIDS was put out as an airworthiness limitation that was Cassa. necessary under our schedule of maintenance to implement. By CASA. In accordance with our regulations, yeah. Senator. So CASA's introduced SIDS, correct? No, Cessna has introduced the SIDS program, Senator. Well, those owners have never heard of it over there. He's saying this letter. Look. Have we not known of any catastrophes in Australia because of the condition of these Cessnas, as far as their makeup of their frame? You know, the reason why this, the uh, SIDS program has got to be carried out? Have we had any fall out of the sky because of uh, the only one falling I, off? The only one I can refer to was an ATSB investigation on Cessna 208. 20, I'd have to get the actual details in regards to that, but it was a structural failure of the elevator. Yeah, that see, wasn't in flight. Luckily, it was found on the ground. See, these, these are claims, as I said to you last time, where this bloke has his plane parked in a rust-free area at Armidale, actually, a long way to the west coast of the salt water. Vehicles don't rust there, or very, very little. And we're getting all these, all these ground, and of course, if they go to sell their, their plane, they can't get any money for it because they've got to have the SIDS inspection. Time's up. It was, an, it was a program put in place by Cessna Centre and I've seen the limitation, I've seen the actual documentation that says this is mandatory inspection. In accordance with our regulatory, um, our legislation, we have to implement that. Yeah, well, that's the end of the Cessnas for the second-hand ones in Australia then, by the sound of that. Thanks, Chair. All right, mate.